Hi, I'm Shirin Kasai from ETS Montreal and I'll present our research on the effect of vibration frequency mismatch on apparent tactile motion illusion. The experience of sophisticated haptic feedback could improve when more than one haptic device are used at the same time. As illustrated here, a player could, for example, feel apparent tactile motion between a smartwatch and handheld controller as their character shoots or jumps. It's however unclear if apparent tactile motion can be produced with the actuators that are not identical, as is likely to be the case when using two commercial haptic devices. In this work, we want to know how a mismatch in resonance frequency of two actuators affect the detection of apparent tactile motion. We hypothesize that the detection rate of apparent tactile motion would decrease as the difference in vibration frequency increases. To test our hypothesis, we use two high bandwidth actuators to simulate actuators with different resonance frequencies. They were placed on the wrist and forearm. We created apparent tactile motion with a sequence of vibration pulses. The goal of the first experiment was to eliminate the effect of perceived intensity. We first found the weakest vibration pulse across the frequency and locations. We then normalize the pressive intensity at all frequencies at the forearm and wrist to match this weakest vibration pulse. The goal of the second experiment was to determine the effect of frequency mismatch on the detection of apparent tactile motion. We normalize the pressive intensity at all frequencies and locations based on the result of the previous experiment. We ask 10 participants to detect the direction of apparent tactile motion when the first vibration was at one of the reference frequencies and the second was at the one of other frequencies. We had five iterations for each combination. We calculate the average rate of success for each participant based on the size of the vibration frequency mismatch. We assume that with both vibratory frequencies where the same, the rate of detection would be high and that detection rate would decrease as the gap between vibratory frequency increased. We found instead that there is no statistical significant effect of having two different uh, frequencies on the detection of apparent tactile motion. We conclude that it is possible to perceive the apparent tactile motion illusion with a combination of different devices that produce a different range of vibratory frequencies as long as they are produced the same perceived intensity.